In the late 80s, Cinemaware played with a television-style presentation in a series called TV Sports. Created for computers and then ported to the TurboGrafx-16, the TV Sports series tried for more realistic options and graphics along with the presence of television announcers. TV Sports Football came first, followed a year later by TV Sports Basketball, a five-a-side round ball game and one of the few turbo chips taking advantage of that full five-player multi-tap. First, the options. Exhibition is a one-off game with one or two player control or teammates with up to five players. This is a bright spot in this one as you grab some controllers and some buds for multiplayer action. League mode is one player only and allows you to choose a team and play a 10 week schedule. After each game you'll receive a password so you can continue the season at a later date. Wow, thank goodness it's one of those short abbreviated passwords. <laughs> I love sarcasm. Finally, the clipboard allows you to study the entire league, evaluate player abilities, and even spy on your opponents. Now for the team selection screen. Well, without an NBA license, you basically have the pirates, zombies, you know, a Disney ride character cornucopia. After that, you can dictate how long each of the four quarters will be. And finally, our trusty TV announcer will appear to discuss the tip-off result and away we go, as you now take control of the flashing character on the court. A steal! What's next? Well, you run around the court with the directional pad, change player control with button 2, pass the ball with button 1, shoot the ball with button 1, attempt a steal with button 1, and even block shots with, you guessed it, button 1. You can also assume a pretty good defensive position call timeouts during a game, and do a ton of substituting. So far, TV Sports Basketball seems to have a lot going on. But unfortunately, here is where the positives end. Shooting the ball is very frustrating, because whether I am far away or directly underneath the basket, I can never seem to get the button timing down correctly. At half court, the game forces you into a cutscene, with the character slowly crossing to the other side. Here you can set up your next offensive or defensive play. Cool, but after a while, this bogs the game down. And it also screws with your eyes, as you try to figure out where the hell your players end up on the other side. The flashing player is also not very obvious, so that doesn't help either. Ball 10 is first. The game does keep track of this, and that's not too bad. Charging three is second. Ugh, then we have charging. Look, I'm not the best b-ball gamer in the world, I'll admit that, but I swear I was called for charging all the time. Charging. Ugh. The players seem to get jammed up a lot, so I find myself mashing buttons just trying to figure out who has possession. The free throw shooting is pretty lousy as well. There is a little line moving back and forth, and when you press the button, it seems completely out of sync. Yeah, good luck timing that one. I also found the player stats to not always be correct, as characters with lousy abilities would all of a sudden trounce me. The graphics are genuinely pretty well done, pulling off the realism they were going for, with players who look good and a court that is colorful and waxed. There isn't really an audience, so it almost feels like a practice game before the actual game. And even though the screen never goes beyond its static medium shot, the visual ambiance overall isn't bad. The audio has some pretty good voice samples. A steal. Music is present for some menus, otherwise, dead silence. Not even squeaks can be heard from the shoes. If you didn't have the sounds for ball dribbling, or something being tossed into a garbage can, I mean, yeah, come on, that's what that is, right? The game would almost seem to be on mute. Earlier in this review, I already covered the weak controls. 
Things always seem a tad delayed, and since button one does almost everything, you'll be mashing it constantly until the final buzzer sounds. The options in visual presentation in TV Sports Basketball are pretty good. And the TV announcers are a nice touch for this overall series. But where the game falters is in its poor controls, lack of full court action, and empty gameplay. Yes, five player ability is a great thing here, but it ends up being five players ticked off all at once due to lackluster control. Me personally, I never had a very good time with this one, and it's definitely below average, so I recommend... Charging 21, this second. Oh, bite me. In Turbo Graphics land, where you have only two basketball games to choose from, I wish I had better things to say about TV Sports Basketball. But even with decent graphics and minor touches like developer names appearing as players, the game is a boring overall experience. Maybe having four friends with you to, to share the pain might spread it out a bit, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Drink first. A lot.